Good morning. You know, as I go on this 10-day trek with you, which it's now pretty much a nine-day trek, uh, through my renewal process, I just thought about how I would do this to make it better for you. I look at a lot of my YouTube statistics, and I posted a 36-minute video yesterday, which was the average watch time was around nine minutes. Now, it could that could actually be because of my just award-winning personality and my ability to stumble through a sentence. I'm not sure. So I thought I'd keep these short and sweet. And the only way I thought I would do that is, and of course, this is the first time you'll hear this, so I apologize for my rambling, is to just give you a bunch of short videos. So I'm going to try to keep these under a couple of minutes, and I'll just post as many times as I can throughout the day, or a big long one at the end that is segmented out, and you can watch what it is. So yesterday I told you that I'm preparing for my renewal, and the very first area of operation that I have is area of operation 2, task B. Now that happens to be runway incursions. So what am I going to be doing this week uh, to, to do that? Well, it starts today, and I wanted to share a couple of things with you. So let's first off go to where I was looking and then share, you, share with you exactly what my plan of action is for today. So let's look at that. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to share with you is I was trying to just make sure I had all my uh, bells and whistles covered just to make sure the FA hadn't changed anything. So I went over to FSIMS just to make sure that nothing has changed. And as I started to go to into this link here, because normally I just Google FSIMS and this page comes up and then I have to click this link and that takes me to the 8900.1. But when I got here, I found this thing that I, I don't know if I'd been overlooking it or not, but I saw that it says that the FSIMS is planning for decommissioning. And it says now we're going to start doing everything over in DRS, which is the dynamic regulatory system. And uh, it says it, they want you to start looking at this link. And of course, as you get this little spinning thing here, I don't know what that is, but uh, just st takes up a part of the screen. So anyway, I clicked on the copy of the link and I went over to the DRS. And so this is DRS. Uh, when I first went in here, this was, in, uh, this was not uh, something that was easy to navigate. And so what I had to do was off to the left-hand side here, it has some pull-down menus. And so I just went to orders, notice handbooks, I went to, I was about to click on orders, and then I saw that there was this link here that said 8900.1, and so I just clicked on contents, and it gave me exactly what I was looking for, and of course, um, when we are doing these, it's always going to be the, uh, uh, when, you're, when you're clicking in here, that some of these things make good sense and some of them do not make good sense but in this particular one i just go to airman certification because that's what i want to do and then i want to scroll down to the one where it says to uh, do a uh, airman certification so let's see i don't know if, i don't think they've actually changed it i'm probably just going through too quick oh here it is yeah, I, am. I am i'm just going too quick let me slow down so Title 14 for flight instructors, and then where it says down here to conduct a CFI, which is probably right in here, <clears throat> right here, uh, Section 11, conduct a Title 14 reinstatement renewal. And this basically gives me the FA's layout of how the check ride goes. And so there you go. So it's a Volume 5, 8900.2, Volume 5, Chapter 2, Section 11. And it gives you the whole entire spiel about how the check ride goes. Anyway, so I started off my day with that. I wanted to share that with you. But today, I'm going to concentrate my entire day on all my breaks and on my lunch break at work. And then after work, I'm going to be studying runway incursions. And I've already been doing that today. So, of course, the main site that I go to is the FAA's runway safety page. And this is kind of broken down into a couple of different pieces. So, off to the left-hand side here, when you do this, which, by the by, this is a fa.gov forward slash airports forward slash runway underscore safety that's their their main site and it gives me a couple of things down here and i'm going to be clicking on all these links today and reading throughout them so a lot of stuff in here and i want to be able to look over it enough to have some fruitful conversation about it so i don't have to be an expert in the field i simply just need to be able to talk about it uh, as if i was telling a student about it now, one of the things that I also noticed that it also has this trending now column off to the right hand side. And this is where I'm going to be spending most of my time. I've noticed that this trending now kind of uh, piggybacks on what's in this main area. 
So uh, one of the things I want to do is go through the runway safety simulator because I definitely want to talk about that on my check ride. I definitely want to talk about incursions and excursions as well. And uh, I'd like to know some of the statistics as well. And then it also links right to the uh, chapter 14 for the airport operations. Uh, they do have a dedicated page that's, that's, that's for runway incursions and it has a little bit of data on it but uh, not much, but this is something that I want to be able to talk about. Well, one of the common things I used to see in check rides is that people were always trying to tell me about the four categories or four categories of runway incursions. I don't care about the four categories of runway incursions. The student doesn't care about the four categories of runway incursions. All we have to know is when it comes to runway incursions, when you're teaching a new pilot about runway incursions is this. It is statistically proven, it's scientifically proven that if you research the reasons behind a runway incursion, you can prevent runway incursions. So I have to practice on education and saying, you know, hey, do you know what that sign means? Do you know what that painted on the paint on the ground means? You know, I have to let the pilot know that there are just a few things they have to be concerned with. And if they are of familiar with those things, then it should be pretty good to go. So I'm going to spend the rest of my day putting this together. And then in the evening today, when I'm finished working on this, I'm going to share with you my brand new 2021 going into 2022 revised runway incursion lesson plan. Hmm. Then you could uh, study it. Hopefully you wouldn't do anything incredibly stupid, like print it out and try to use it as your own because it's not yours. It's not your original thought. Uh, most people that that buy these lesson plans and do all this stuff, uh, I don't understand why you do that. It, you, this is your gig, not somebody else's gig. And nine times out of ten, I personally feel that those who buy canned lesson plans, they buy them, they never read them, and then after the check ride, they get stored on a shelf or either thrown in the trash. It's just a waste of money. Anywho, this is what I have planned for today. Follow along with me if you would. I'll probably make another post at lunch. And I'll probably never going to make another post this evening. Definitely another post this evening. Because uh, I would definitely want to share with you my new, revised, up-to-date, hot-off-the-press lesson plan. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me this morning with your coffee or tea. And I'll talk to you this evening. See ya.